it's Nina Warthog Princess. Welcome, welcome back. This is a lug haul and it has some fun stuff in it. Not new, new, but some revisiting of things that are pretty recent. Um, the first is I got another pair of leggings. They are super soft, very stretchy, very comfortable. They're lightweight, so even not bad for Arizona summer, if you will. Now for the summer, I plan to wear shorter things, not the longer. Um, leggings, but still they're light enough that you could. Um, but I really, really like them. I did order a more appropriate size. So 1X is actually my size um, and they fit great. So that's good. I hope that um, if I just put a drawstring in my other ones that they'll be better, but they still fit too. I mean, it's just a uh, looser. So these are lugging ankle, so it's called, and 1X. So that's what it says. You can barely see the label there, but they are in the bright floral because fun matches a little bit of everything really. And again, I don't like my leggings super skin tight, so I don't mind that they don't give a lot of compression. They're not a compression material anyways. They do have pockets on both sides, which I like because maybe you got a ball for each one or your phone in a ball, or maybe you're just left-handed instead of right-handed. So a lot of options there. Very comfortable and so far fairly durable. I haven't worn them much, but I have Bloom Black, Paws Navy, and I have another one. Bloom Black, Paws Navy, I thought I had three. Anyway, there you go. I did order the new ones though. They have skirted leggings now. I think their capri length is what it looks like in the pictures anyways. Um, but I ordered two pairs. I ordered Bright Floral and I ordered um, bouquet blue. We'll see. I ordered two different sizes because of the skirting. I wasn't sure how they would fit if they'd fit exactly the same as these or not. So I got the bigger one as an option, but again, not a problem. I know already that both sizes fit me and are usable. So that's good. Um, then I got two stash pouches. I got peacock multi and stars and shells Navy. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> not stars and shells Navy. It's sea life blue. So um, good pattern placement on both. Actually, I'm really happy. On the front side of this one, where the lug logo embedded is there, I have a really nice seahorse. I've got sand dollar, star, kind of a nice background there. Pretty good. On the back, I do sadly have a headless seahorse, but still an overall good. And the front is, at least one side is very nice. These are a great size. They open zip all the way around and they're gusseted on both sides. So very accessible internally. There's your interior pattern. You got the stripes with a little bit of sea life stuff in it in different places. But definitely matches the outside. It's just a nice little pouch. And these are RFID. So you wanna stash your cards in there, use it as a wallet, just like an all-in-one thing. You can do that, it will protect them. It's not big enough for a passport or anything like that, but there you go. I definitely will take these on my trips. And I did finally book my first cruise for 2023. And it's in October. It's gonna be pickleball. Bunch of my, I mean, it's not a pickleball cruise. It's just a bunch of my pickleball friends are going together on a cruise at the Mexican Riviera. So itinerary is okay, but the cruise will be fun. Anyway, so Sea Life Blue and the Peacock Multi, I really like this pattern a lot of the purples and blues and teals together. And here I have this beautiful peacock and the purple feather on the same, that's perfect. And then um, it's actually one piece of fabric that rolls on the back side, So it's upside down and disconnected from the body, but there's the tail. Um, so it's kind of cool though that I have, I do have the entire peacock and the only way to get it on a piece like this is to have it roll over like that. So I'm still happy with that. And even when you look at this side by itself, it's got the different colors and prettiness there on the lug side. But the other side is upright and a perfect peacock. So I call that a win. I'm pretty easy to please, but there you go. The next item I got, oh, what is this called again? The Hover in Fireworks Navy. Now this is a newer piece, not new, new, but this is my first Hover. I debated on which pattern to get for a while and I had it in my cart and I was waiting for deals or sales or whatever, but <laughs> sometimes you just gotta go with it. But there's the lug logo right there. It does have a top carry handle. I think this is for me a great size and shape for like in a backpack or in a tote. You can just 
stack up several of them or with other pouch type things and you can grab the top and pull it out. So I really like that about it. It is designed as a cosmetic, which of course means nothing to me because I do what I want with the things that I buy. But let's look at what that means. Because it's designed as a cosmetic, it is entirely plastic lined. That makes it even more multifunctional for me. So I like that about it. Um, it's not necessary for it to be, but I do think that adds functionality and versatility. It's designed to be a brush holder on this side. So you have one, two, three, four, five elastic slots there. And they're plastic all the way inside and out. I don't really have a lot of brushes, but I do have a lot of pens and pencils and things. And I travel with quite a lot of them, especially cruising. So I might use this as like a pen and pencil case. Uh, I don't know, I'm maybe not, but, or I can just disregard those and just use it as a total case because it's a good size. Also would be good for snacks and whatnot. But the bonus feature here is it has a removable, Velcro's on two tabs, but a removable mesh pouch. So you could use the pouch on its own somewhere else, or you can put like little things in here and then Velcro it back in on the side there, or you can just take it out and leave it out, your choice. But good size, good shape, and I like that it's a double zipper on there, so. But fireworks navy, yay, red, white, and blue. So pretty cool. Oops, I guess I could put this back in there later. All right, next item. This is a new item, and it's my first, probably my only, sorry, I'm sweating. <laughs> I do not need any more leashes or collars for Kelly, but I liked it, so I bought it. How about that? Funny thing, huh? Okay. This is, of course, Paws Navy because I thought that would be fun. Unfortunately, on the collar, it's kind of a narrow bit of fabric there. So, even though it has really nice fittings, quite nice, with, and it's wrapped, so I don't even know how to get that wrap off of there. It's got a protective wrap on the gunmetal hardware, like just a piece of plastic. I'm gonna have to work on that after. But anyway, so nice clasp. I mean, that's metal clasp, pretty robust. It has a fitting for, you know, your leash to go onto. It's adjustable and it has a slack loop to hold it. So it's pretty cool. It is a web backing, like a woven backing with the lug material on the front, but because it's a narrow strip, everything is kind of cut off or offset, so not a lot of anything. Then I have one purple, one white. I've got the word lug. I do have a kind of a blue-green teal one. Then a white one, a teal one. A couple of fingers. And a couple of purple fingers. And then nothing all the way around till back where we started. So unfortunately not a lot of paw prints on here and nothing very obvious. If I was only gonna have two colors or three colors, purple, white, and teal, those would be the ones I would pick. They're just not as obvious. So um, when I size it out, maybe I'll find more as it rolls through here. Yeah, no, just the teal one comes into full view. But that's probably about Kelly's size. Anyways, but the leash, now, the leash is a little bit wider strap of fabric, and so you do get more, it's much more obvious what is on there, and you get all the different colors of paw prints. So that's pretty cool. I've got yellow, purple, pink, white. Interestingly, no teal on that side, or that side. <laughs> no teal on the leash itself, but a really robust clip, and a nice loop with a another loop on this end so you can hook your poo bag holder or whatever you want there. And it is neoprene lined on the handle part, so that's a much more soft and comfortable. It feels pretty robust. There's another look at that woven backing and then the fabric front. So I think it'll be nice. Kelly doesn't care one way or the other what 
leash or collar that we use and I have several that stay in the RV and several all over the house. I have them at the front door, I have them at the back door. Yeah, so not the back door, the garage door, but this is another option because they do wear out, especially as summer's coming. We start going in the pool and the chlorine bleaches out her collar, but anyways. Okay, a lot of yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. This is the last item I got. I do love the Puddle Jumper backpacks. This is in Resort Black. Um, I debated on which of the patterns to get or patterns or colors because I have a purple one. I think I have a black one. I think that's the two, but for sure I have the Concord, brushed Concord. But it's a great backpack. I really, really loved this for travel. This was my second carry-on. So I had my little 22 inch spinner and then I had one of these on my last trip. And um, my last cruise I actually took my puddle jumper wheelie with my puddle jumper backpack. Uh, no, sorry, I took the Summit. But anyways, great combinations, any combination thereof. Both the Summit and the Puddle Jumper are large backpacks and hold a lot of stuff. The Puddle Jumper has a little more organization though, which I really, really liked about it. So let's go back to front. It has two really nice padded and meshed for breathability. Um, they are pretty ergonomic and pretty adjustable. There is an elastic loop there to hold the slack so that you don't have just empty straps hanging out. It has a trolley strap on the back that is Velcroed against it until you need to use it. So that is very helpful. Although I didn't use that much, I did use it while waiting to board the plane. It has a top carry handle that is pretty robust and very comfortable to grab and hold. On the back, it has the no slip grip and has double fabric on the top. So really good handle and really well secured up on top there. On the sides, you have generous sized elastic cargo pockets. Definitely fits the big water bottles and whatnot. So that was great. And then we get to the front. The front has a lot going on here, a lot. Um, you have the cell phone pocket right there, the signature cell phone soft lined with the magnetic closure. Right in front of that, you have this other slip pocket and it is also a magnetic closure. So right there in the middle. And it goes all the way down the full length and width of the bag. So that was where I had my iPad because I was actually using it for entertainment on the flight. But you can put a lot of different things there, papers, folders, iPad. You, depending on your laptop, you can put it there. There is a separate place for those. But I just took my iPad, not a laptop, so I wanted it quickly accessible. In front, you have your standard puddle jumper pockets with the pocket on pocket, your magnetic flap closure and then the zippers to get inside. Um, it is lined on the front, the back is just the back of the bag. So, got that, and as we're looking at that, yes, the pockets are crooked. Hmm. Trying not to dwell on that. Not as crooked as it looks, it's just because it has some depth to it, and when it was pushed flat, it makes it pooch up, which makes it look more crooked than it actually is. It's not so bad. If the pocket was full, trust me, I've already tested it, it's much better. <laughs> Maybe you don't care like I do anyways. This pocket on front is a double zipper. It zips all the way down on both sides and inside it comes with a matching runway envelope. Just a single, just a larger runway envelope. Uh, I think they call them seesaw now, but they used to be runway envelopes. It's the same thing, the exact same thing. Um, but there you go, so you got that. You have the Love logo here on the front. And then inside this pocket you have um, soft lined, small cargo pocket there with elastic. Larger one, also soft lined. And you can see that interior pattern with the palm trees and the multicolored dots. And then on the, the closing side, you have a zipper pocket. And that does go all the way to the bottom there. So pretty good capacity. Now, if you have a bunch of stuff in those slips and you have a full pouch and you have a full pocket, you're gonna have trouble closing that because it does have quite a bit of gusset in and to itself, but it's not infinite. It does have a nice gusset on the side though for keeping it from just draw bridging all the way open. So that is great. I like that pocket a lot. And there you go. Like I said, it's double zipper, but it's got that little connection to the pouch right now. So there you go. The main pocket, double zipper. And this is another thing I really liked about this for travel specifically is you can put them together and it has that loops that you can lock, put a little travel lock on there. 
on both the laptop compartment and the main compartment. I really like that. So, you know, you never leave your bags unattended in airport, just don't for many, many reasons, not to mention it's not allowed. Um, but if you just are turning your head or maybe you're kind of dozing off and your bag's sitting right there with you, doesn't mean people aren't gonna get into, you know, people do crazy things now. So I just had them locked because I didn't need to get in them that often. If I did, I just left it unlocked at the time, but whatever. So main pocket zippers go all the way down to the top of those side cargo pockets. And then inside you have a privacy zipper, two elastic slips, and on the front you have another big elastic slip. Just kind of helps keep the organized inside. And this pocket goes from right here to right here. So most of the bag is that main compartment. Here you can see that front bottom pocket and there you can see that back laptop compartment. So next we'll look at that. The top handle by the way sits between the two compartments which totally makes sense and does balance the bag. And this is your laptop compartment. It's padded on both sides, so definitely designed for a computer, but doesn't mean you have to have a computer there. It does have a little bit of space. You could put more than one computer in there if you wanted. Like I said, it's quite a bit of space there. So depending on what all you have in the bag, it can be used for a great number of things. But that is the Puddle Jumper backpack in Resort Black. And that is the end of this haul. I do have a couple of bento boxes on the way and, and the skirted leggings. So another haul coming, but however long it takes, we'll get here when it gets here. Bye for now.